Hi everyone, it's Tuesday, January 16th, and you're here at the Chaos Community Weekly Call. I'm Elizabeth, um, the Chaos Community Manager, for anybody who's watching and doesn't know why I'm the one that always talks, that's why. Um, as always, this is under our Chaos Code of Conduct, so uh, we appreciate you reading that and um, just really integrating that into the way you interact with us. Uh, if you don't want to turn your cameras on, that's completely fine. Um, I have heard that that actually contributes to Zoom fatigue is having your camera on because you feel like you have to be, you know. So yeah, feel free to take, turn that off. Uh, we do integrate chat in this uh, meeting, so feel free to just chat on the side if you would rather do that. That's completely valid. Okay, so all that being said, the minutes are in the chat, but if you need them again, by all means, just ask and we are happy to provide that for you. Not a big deal. Somebody will. If you have not added your name to the list of attendees, please do so and tell us about some extreme temperature or weather event. Uh, th I think this is super interesting. Like I really nerd out on this stuff. I don't know why, but I think it's really interesting. Uh, 24 inches of snow, 40, 46 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is, but it seems pretty high <laughs> to me. It seems uncomfortably high. Um, the Ohio River did freeze solid and people were walking across from Ohio to Kentucky just along the river, which seems a little bit strange because it's a very big river. Uh, but it apparently that happens. Oh yeah, I love this. Oh my gosh, an airport runway melted, wow. Nicole, how much snow do you have? A lot? Uh, not as much as we thought that we were gonna have, but we hear that another uh, winter storm is coming um, to, uh, well, they said today, but maybe tomorrow. We'll stay so we're, we're not done. <laughs> Definitely stay warm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's hop into our agenda. If we have time at the end, we probably have some last minute chaos con things to talk about. So um, we'll get right to it. I see that we have put our DEI.md file on here. Um, Matt, did you put this on here? Or did uh, we I, that? No, I, I don't know. That must have just been left over. Okay. But I did. Um, I did go through the process and I added a PR for our badge. Awesome. So this is our DEI.md file for chaos, that is. Yes. So if anybody has any changes to be made or see something that seems amiss, please, by all means, su submit a PR for that. Anything else on that that you want to bring up, Matt? Or uh talk well, I mean, if you on the read me in our community. Um, it's there. Yay. Yeah. So that's where I put it. I don't know if that seems I think right. It's great. Yeah, I think that's a really good place to put it. Um, I was thinking about that file that we were thinking about last time about having a DEI on our on our website on like a high level and about yeah. and I I mean, it was pretty much like this okay. <laughs> thing I could add. So I think this is fine here. If we okay. just if we want to add that file later, we can, but. I mean, we could put like just on chaos.community, mm -hmm. just main web page. Mm -hmm. Like on the homepage? Yeah. Like where would you put that? Um, I mean, it could be one of the rotating banners. Um, it could be down below. Like in between supporting organizations and, or it could be a drop down. I don't know, just somewhere where you can get to it other than the community read me. That seems kind of buried. Okay. Okay. Maybe we could put it like, what is chaos? Maybe even just there. Yeah. You know, chaos is also a really open and welcoming community committed to supporting folks. And here's a link to our DEI file or DEI.md file. Okay. 
I don't know, what do other people think in terms of location? That makes sense. I see Sella has a question. Did we update the preview on the badges on GitHub that are different or kind of broken? Sella, can you tell me more about that? What What is it? That I don't know if it was only to you that I was talking about this too, but it's there is like when we go to the badges that were already out, I, I was just thinking because of Matt's um, talking about the bronze badge there. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to like, I think the repository of the, the projects that have their badges, some of them are just like that small code rather than seeing the actual preview of, of the badge. I think, did we discuss this somewhere else? Where did we, I, I can't Maybe, remember. are you talking about like the list of badged projects, Stella? Yeah. No, this. Um, no, no. I know no, that I said that. no, I didn't see that before, but I was talking about the list of badged projects. Go to badging.chaos. Mm -hmm. that one and so if you click on project badging that list okay so so this is being worked on i think this week and so right now like the one from ruth right there that's just a test and uh, gonna... is that what you're talking about i was talking about this one one second okay i just found it i was this is being improved. It's talking about this. There you go. Oh. Oh. Right in the chat. Event badging. Gotcha. Yeah, event badging ones. I'm sorry. If you scroll down, like way down, 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 more, more, more. There you go. Yeah, this is where we changed. I think we changed how we were doing things with the bot. Um, so we will have to go back and retroactively fill that in. Um, this links to the to the badge itself, and this is just like a placeholder. Yeah. So this actually links to something, and this did not. Um, yeah, we can go back and fill that in if we need to. I think Enoch, that was when we started adding automatically adding in this the. Uh, the events to the list this was i think manually being done yeah so that's why then we changed it okay if we're going to make some updates on that same page do you think it would be worth also adding this is something i think i already talked to you about adding another column that states whether the event was virtual in person or hybrid yeah we d yes you did bring that up um that's a great great idea how do we can we expand this like i don't think there's a way to make this because it kind of gets cut off anyway. Yeah. I'm not sure if we could maybe. OK, so I think eventually, actually, what we wanted to do is event badging is have the have the list here instead. And so it would be it would look more like the one for projects. So um, it would look more like this. And so it would be a little mm -hmm. bit cleaner. So I think that's actually the plan, if I'm correct. Yeah, hard to populate pre pre previous events. Yes, so. you are correct. And the reason we just haven't focused on it yet is because we've been working to get project badging out. And so, like, the entire sell of the entirety of using, like, if you click on apply for badge right now, Elizabeth, yeah. like, yeah. it takes you back to the GitHub repo. Yeah, and in this this is our old application, so this will all be changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everything will be handled through that main site. So that's a great idea, though, for when we do change it. And I think, um, do you want to we... do you want to do an issue, Stella, just to mention that so it doesn't get lost in in a meeting minute somewhere? You know what I'm saying? I think Enoch was already creating an issue. Oh, he did put that, creating an issue for that. Okay. Okay, perfect. Enoch, thank you. Awesome. Yeah. And like Sean says, yeah, we're consciously or just kind of putting that on the on the side burner for a second until we get project. We did it on purpose. 
even which though it's will, imperfect. Yes, which is imminent. So yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. Anything else on our DEI.md file that we're going to bring up for our badge for our project? I'll do an action item for me on that. OK, let's move on then. Just a reminder, we are going to shut down discourse. I'm just going to, I think, delete it, I guess. Are there any, is there any conversations that we need to save or archive? I mean, there's been very few, to be honest. I don't think so. Okay. I think that probably the most important thing is I canceled the subscription. <laughs> OK. Um, and then we're just, I, I put a note there um, in, in discourse to point everybody towards Slack. And then here again is the invitation. If, if anybody on this call is not in our Slack, they should be. Yiga, go ahead. Oh, okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Oh, right. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to mention for the DEI um, budget project, um, during the Chaos Africa call um, early this week, um, we did say that it was going to, the website was going to be live hopefully by the 19th. So one of the things that we're planning to do is myself and Ade and Kara were going to be working on like a mid or MD to help people contribute. So one of the suggestions was, um, you know, when you assign an issue to somebody, we don't want that issue from a project management point of view. I don't think we want the issue lagging on for too long, right? So one of the things that's going to be on the DI.MD will be, hey, um, if you can't complete this in, say, two weeks, we're going to have to reassign this to somebody else just so that the project, you know, goes on and stuff like that. And there was also a volunteer for um, uh, project management. So I'm going to be working her through how to use like a project board um, for within by tomorrow, right? So that she can work with at the encounter. So I just wanted to bring that up because I see that Ruth was not around to say that. That's like what I wanted to say. So thank you. That's great. And we did, we do have some flexibility on that 19th date. Um, we kind of, we met on Monday and we are kicking around this date as well. Oh, just yeah. a second. So there is a little bit of time. It's not super, super urgent. Mm -hmm. It's pretty flexible. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to kind of coordinate with, with GitLab as well. So um, I know that they're yeah. planning on announcing some things with it too. So um, yeah, a lot of moving parts, but I think that sounds great. And I appreciate your attentiveness to just keeping things fresh and like yes. moving. <laughs> so I appreciate it very much. So it doesn't become still, yes. So, yeah, but it's all for um, when it's ready, like when we're out there, right? So when everything is ready and out there, so we have more people contributing to the different aspects of it, regardless of what it is. So yes, I just awesome. wanted to continue. I have a kind of a comment I know Don has been working on contributing documents. And so yeah. I'm wondering how this might connect Don. How the, sorry, how the so the work, DEI you, stuff? Or do you mean so the discourse? You, uh, no, the DEI stuff. So Yiga was mentioning that they wanted to put together kind of um, text about how folks could contribute to the badging effort. Not like just apply, but contribute. And I know you've been working on your contributing.md files, like as consistent across chaos. So yeah. Oh, I see. Um, yeah. So I think that one of the things that we should try to do is not duplicate the stuff that's in the new contributing.md file that Elizabeth just PR'd into the community repo. We should link to that for the stuff that's that's common, um, which there will be a little bit that is. But but then I think you know you'll obviously need some stuff that's specific to the badging project, and I think we designed the contributing guide with the idea that the badging project and any of the other software projects would have very specific things that people need to know about contributing to those projects. So I think that those would go in your um, your contributing .md file. So I'd be happy to I'd be happy to review it, provide feedback. If you want to just 
asking me and, and send me some stuff because we're trying we're trying to avoid duplication with the contributing.md file in the community repo, but also give people the flexibility to add the stuff that you need to add. So I'm help I'm happy to help you figure out where to draw that balance. Um, okay, thank you, Don. Um, so yeah. since we already have something, that's that's great. Thank you for offering. But I'm just like, since we already have something, isn't it better that so that we are not duplicating stuff, right? Isn't it better that we use what we have, and then myself and Adeyika can just you know add whatever it is that we want to add. For example, you know this thing about contributing within two weeks or something like that. You know, we just put it there somewhere so that we're not, you know, what do you think? Um, I'm not sure, honestly. I would have to look and see what you have now to know. Um, can you just send me the link to the contributing file that you have now and I can provide some feedback? Would that be helpful? Well, I thought you did say that we already had one that you were working on. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do we have one? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I think I, I think I'm not understand. I'm just not understanding the 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 question. So we um, we have a contributing file for chaos mm -hmm. in general um, that you should link to from your contributing guide. But you'll need to write the bits that are specific to the badging project because there's going to be a ton of stuff people are going to need to know about the badging project um, right. that you'll need to write in yours. And I can I can help you make sure that we don't duplicate any information. And I think as long as you link to the one that's in the community repo, you should be good. Awesome. Okay, now I okay. get it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's fine. Thank you so much. I do wonder, and maybe the answer is no, but for the contributing file that you have created for the like the community at large Don, should we have um so right now if you open it up elizabeth yeah so right now right this is what it is um should we provide guidance here for cases like this so if if you're going to be if you're going to be creating your own contributing file you know please just include this sentence with a link to this file at the top of your new contributing file. I, I, that probably doesn't come out quite right, but something like that. Yeah, I think I think it would be good to provide people with that that guidance. And I I I will go through and do some some better documentation of this and some uh, clean up and create a good first issue for some of the other bits that we need to okay. that we need to do around this. So so this is. Uh, this is brand new. Elizabeth just yeah, yeah. PR'd this, uh, this this week. So uh, for those of you that don't know about it, it's, it's because we we just did it and haven't really talked about it. So um, yeah, so we'll we'll figure out how to incorporate it in some of these other projects for sure. But yeah, that's a good point, Matt. I'd be I can provide some of that. Let me just think more about how we do that. Great. Anything else with uh, that contributing doc? Okay. I moved it up the ladder of the agenda only because we were already talking about it, um, but we are planning to announce probably the beginning of next week um, to release this to the masses so that um, we may get some, some traffic or some mentions. And um, I would really appreciate people's help in um, just helping us monitor those because uh, I it's difficult to keep track of everything all the time. Um, you don't have to answer the questions. Just let us know that there is a mention or a question would be great. That would be great. And if you want to just drop it in badging, um, that would be perfect because uh, again, like, yeah, it's just a lot to keep track of. So if any help from the community would be awesome if you want to drop it in badging and then we'll we'll take it from there. Yes, yeah, I think this is really important. This came up in, in a call about badging yesterday. Just as it goes live, there's a potential that a lot of people will have comments or you know, like things to say about project badging. And so just kind of 
keeping our eyes open for those things is I think pretty important. Yeah, because we do want to try to respond to those as much as we can. And um, yeah, I'm just one person. So <laughs> helping, uh, like I'll answer, I don't mind answering. It's just if I know where to go to do that would be great. Do you? It might, it might help people if we put together sort of a, you know, I'm thinking about like how corporate PR people do this, where they put together kind of a, a q and A. If people are asking about this, here's a response. Um, uh, would it be helpful to do something like that? Like not like I've seen PR firms do this where it's like 10 pages, but I'm thinking like, like what do we think are maybe the top five questions people might ask or comments people might make and how we how we could respond to that. And that might help lighten your load a little bit, Elizabeth, if other people know how to respond. I don't know, Nicole, what do you think about that? Having kind of a QA and a around the announcement since you have more marketing experience than, than most of us. I thanks Don. Um, I actually think that's a great uh, idea. Like you said, it alleviates uh, <laughs> poor Elizabeth from having to do, you know, having to field uh, a, a lot of that. Um, and it, yeah, I want to take some time to dive a little bit more into this. Um, but I definitely think Q and A would be would be a good thing. And then also. Um, maybe providing this just off the top of my head at this point, but providing the the collective team with some of the things that they can post about the announcement um, and, and about the launch um, so that it's um, maybe a little bit easier to amplify uh, the announcement. You know, um, that's not to say that people need to use the copy verbatim or that sort of thing, but just giving them an idea um, as to, uh, you know, some of the things that, that they could uh, amplify and then having them put that into their own uh, own words, that might be uh, an idea just to, to help folks out. Um, yeah, there's actually a lot we can do here. One of the, in the interest of Q and A, one of the ideas we could uh, pursue, if if someone wants to, um, or even a, a a group of us want to be um, interviewed, sort of like a you know a Q and A about uh, this, we could also do uh, a video piece um, around that as well. Um, and I and I've got uh, access to be able to to do that access to a platform called Riverside to be able to do something like that. Um, because as we know, video does uh, really well. Um, sounds, like, sounds like Riverside would be a more sitting in front of a webcam. I don't hear Sorry. you on, on your not coming through. Yeah, you're breaking up a little bit. Oh, really? Okay, I'm on a crap connection right now. I was just asking if Riverside is more than just sitting in front of a webcam. Um, from well, it's it is a virtual interview. It is a virtual um, uh, recording platform. Um, but Sean, it sounds like you maybe had something more in in mind there. Uh, but it, yeah, it's it's essentially a, um, a a virtual recording platform, and the the idea is to take some of the Q and A and to do that Q and A uh, live. And oh, actually, um, one well, one of the ideas that just popped into my into my head was actually doing a a live Q and A, um, and then using uh, using that as the video that you could then uh, replay, just as, as a thought. 
Go ahead, Matt. So I know that this is being released, the project badging relatively soon, potentially this Friday. Um, and so maybe in terms of the Q&A, at least to start, we could just create a document that kind of tracks how the responses go based on those like LinkedIn and Twitter X and threads and Mastodon. Um, I'm just thinking kind of like of, of class when I teach a class, like I, I don't have a Q and A for all the anticipated questions, but I, I always track my answers when I give an answer, just because sometimes I re I get the question over and over again. And there is a point where I just post it to the announcements or something like that. So, um, I just, I don't know that we can know all of the questions that'll come, but I, I totally agree that answering the questions in a consistent way is really good. But the first time- Yeah, you I, think, I think that's a good idea to have kind of a, a bank of, of the way that we can answer some of the common questions. Mm -hmm. um, I would still maybe pick the top five things that we think people are gonna ask about and put some canned questions in place for those because that shouldn't take very long. And that'll help us be more consistent because the problem here is like, like you answering questions about a topic you know deeply about is is different than maybe yeah. asking a question, answering we, a question. We talked about, about this on Monday. It's a good point. Yeah. Just that we we can almost just cut and paste the answer, no matter who it comes from. Over. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, you know, and and to your point, um, Matt and and Don, um, from an amplification standpoint thinking about what we can do after the announcement as well. Um, you know, Matt, to your point, these, you know, questions, we can anticipate some ahead of time and then there will be others, of course, that we don't. Um, but if we're receiving the same questions, right, time and time again, the Q and A, whether it's written or video or what have you, whatever format that takes, might be a nice post announcement piece. I do like the idea of having like just an open office hours, kind of a the super chill, come and go, come ask questions. I don't know what you all think about that, but we could even use maybe the newcomer hangout um, slot for that. And just keep it like this is this is an, an ongoing place where we field questions in general so if you have questions about badging pop in here as well i don't know what you all think about that or if you want it to be something a little more formal i prefer informal but Maybe if we do, honestly, if we do keep getting the same questions over and over again, kind of like an announcement, we might want to do something formal. It's like, all right, here's the here are the five questions that keep coming up over and over. Let me just, let me take care of those right now for you all. And then honestly, we could just start pointing people to the video. We can just say, see video. Yeah, I think that's what Nicole was, was hoping. Yeah. As opposed to even cutting and pasting. Like text, we could just cut and paste a link. Another idea, too, um, I, I'm not sure what the what the topic lineup is for um, the Chaos podcast, but that might be another uh, avenue is to to do one around, you know, questions or or. Um, you know, this, this new program. Yeah, we plan to do a Chaos Cast podcast about the badging initiative. We actually think we might do it a little bit differently okay. because I've been talking to um, uh, the person who runs the Mechanical Inc. podcast. And so I think maybe he's going to do the um, podcast about the badging and then we're going to also co-post it in the Chaos Cast feed. So that's more about um, kind of the, the badging initiative itself to give it a bit more visibility outside of our traditional audience. And I think that you guys are going to do one with the sustain bolts too, right? I think I Justin to... mentioned wanting to do one about badging. 
I don't remember. Or sorry, not Justin. Um, Richard. Oh, I have to go into my. I have to search my brain for, for the <laughs> truth on that one. <laughs> it's thought, not, seems likely. I thought, <laughs> maybe I'm thinking of something something else, but I thought that came up in the maybe the DEI meeting. It, yeah, I'll look back at the minutes. You're probably right. Because I think the more the more other people we can get to do podcasts about this, the better off we're gonna be because like we have folks who already kind of know about this. So I think I think we need that outside outside reach. So I did start a document. Awesome. I'm pretty sure, like to your point, Don, like trying to anticipate a few questions. I'm pretty sure that might be one. Um, I want to be a little mindful of our time. Um, sure. We only have 15 minutes left in the meeting, so um, we can uh, save this for next time. And onboarding courses, just a reminder to check that out. Um, reminder about podcasts, but we can also bring them up next time as well. TFIR as a potential third party avenue. I don't know what that is. What is that, Nicole? So, uh, Swapno Bartia does a um, an interview series, uh, and that might be um, it, it's he focuses on. Um, open source communities and projects. And I, I wonder if that might not be a viable avenue. Um, it just, it, Don sort of <laughs> prompted my my brain to think, oh yeah, what are some other third party, uh, you know, sources that we that we can get into? Yeah, Swapnote does a great job. That would be, that'd be awesome. Oh yeah. So if anybody has contacts there and wants to reach out, yeah, means. I I will. Okay, cool. Um, I do want to leave a little time for Chaos Con. Uh, so I feel like we maybe need to touch base on things since it's like a few weeks away. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this meeting, if that's okay. I know we didn't really get to everything. Sorry about that. But it was a great meeting, and we appreciate your input on the project badging stuff. So um, any final thoughts before we shut the meeting off? Okie dokie. I'm going to stop recording. Maybe stop recording.